Hey guys, this is Matt Kids on One, and today we have iPhone programming lesson nine. So in this programming lesson, uh, we're going to be building off of the project we worked in on in the previous lesson, which was our simple dragging application, where you could drag around a square and see it move around on the screen. So basically, we're going to be adding to what we already have here. So just open up the Xcode project. All right. So what we're going to do is make this save where both rectangles are, both the views are on the screen. And that's why I had you set up an ID outlet for this, even though we don't use it at all, because we are going to use it to save it and restore the location. So here's what we're going to do, and it's pretty simple. We're going to use NS user defaults like normal to set and get values, but the values we're going to set are going to be uh, a rectangle. And the way you set a rectangle, you convert it to a string using a function that I already showed in uh, a previous video, so it should be easy to, to figure out, but I'm going to do it right for you right here. So, first of all, the, make sure we can tell the difference between the two squares. I'm going to make our drag box uh, have a different background color. Our drag box is going to be black, and our UI view, that's uh, the primitive way of moving things around, is going to be white. All right, and I will center these again. I don't know if they're centered. No, that one wasn't centered. You see, I, I don't know why that happened, but whatever. So we have that set up. Uh, that's the last of interface builder. So here's what we're going to do. When the view loads, and view did load here, we're going to load the rectangles from the user defaults, um, which is kind of simple. This is the simple part. We're going to say, and this string my view frame equals and here we'll declare and as user default sorry for uh, jumping around here okay we're going to say defaults object for key my view all right and we're going to say my view set frame cg rec from string my view frame Alright, and that's how we're going to do it for now. We're just going to do the white one for now, and then we'll do the other one in a second. So now, on touches ended, there's another event called touches ended, which gets called when the user lifts their finger off the screen. So this code in here will run when the user lifts their finger off the screen. Alright, and what we want to do there is save the data. So we're going to say ns string rect string equals uh, ns string from cg rect and here we're going to get my view frame and we're going to say ns user default standard user default set object rect string for key my view alright and obviously we have to synchronize this so um, excuse me but we're going to have to make it and a uh, default object for this as well, so let's be patient. And that we went over this in uh, I think it was lesson five or something, maybe lesson six, part two, where I showed you how to use defaults. Uh, but yeah, so we have my view there. So here we're getting the object. Here's our function to convert a string to a rec. And that's what we're doing. Here's our function to convert a rect to a string. Um, so hopefully you can put that together. If not, just bear with me. Uh, so now if we run it, we'll come up in our simulator. And what do you know? Where is our stinking rectangle? And the answer to this is defaults doesn't have defaults. So, the first time NS user defaults, if you try to get an object for a key, but that key isn't there, it's going to return nil. And this is going to be left blank, and then this isn't going to work, and it's going to set this to a zero frame, and you're not going to be able to find it, and it's going to be awful. So, what we're going to do here is say, we're going to do a check. If my view frame, then do this. I'm not saying if this isn't nil, if it's not nothing because it will be nothing if there's no default value in here. If we've never set this default value, then this will return nil. Alright, 
and nil means nothing, N-I-L. Okay? So now the issue is that we saved nothing because we moved our, our finger around there. So let's, uh, let's delete this from our simulator. Start it up again. And there we go. Now it's dandy. We move it. It saves it. Uh, if we terminate it and then run it again, boom, it's back there. Terminate, run, boom, it's still there. And it's not running in the background, I can guarantee you, because it won't save the black frame. So now if we go back, the black frame is going to be back where it was, but this will be where we saved it as. So that's proof that it saves the white thing. The black one is going to be a bit tougher, because we're going to have to save it in in the code here for the drag box. So, touch is ended is where we're going to save the code, but we have to load it there. So, we're going to copy our same saving code. Okay. Put it here. And we're going to set it to drag box. Alright. And here we're going to copy the same loading code to some extent. Uh, I'm going to change it to my drag frame. Oops. Uh, what did I call it? Drag box. Uh, okay. Okay. Now this should work. Ooh, one error. What in the world did I do? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, as you can see, I just changed uh, my view to self because we're writing the code in in the drag box UI view. That's an object thing. And now if we drag this here, and the one is down there, close it up, terminate it, it's not running in the background, and whoop de doo it's saved. So that is how to save things in defaults. I'll just review one more time, go over kind of what we're doing. In the UI view, in touches ended, we're getting the defaults. This gets the user defaults. This gets a string, an NS string from the rectangle that represents the frame of this drag box. Self represents the current instance, so if you have three people next to each other, they're all a person, they're all a UI view, but they're each different person. So in one of them, if one of them refers to self, it's referring to them. But if another one refers to self, it's referring to them. So that's what self is. And uh, yeah, so I think that might help some of you understand it, but yeah. Mm, so we are doing that. We're setting this object in the defaults, the string as this. The key is an object. Basically, you use this to refer back to what you saved, and then yeah, default synchronize sets the value in in the actual file. So here's where we're getting the stuff, and uh, I'll space this out a bit. So yeah, uh, hopefully you can piece this together a bit. But yeah, that's basically how it is. Uh, in the previous lesson, I know I did this. I, I uh, made this code available uh, in a link to download. So I'm going to do that as well for this. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching Mac and on. Subscribe and goodbye.